Welcome back everyone. Today I am making a Cajun chicken dish. So first things first, you'll want to combine your spices. I already combined them here just to get a head start. Uh, but you'll want four teaspoons of paprika. We used a smoked paprika, a little bit spicier. If you don't like super spicy, you can draw that back to two or three teaspoons. Um, then we did two teaspoons of oregano. Uh, you can add in a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We're actually going to put whole cayenne peppers in though, uh, so we'll get to that later. Then you'll also want half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of garlic, and a teaspoon of onion powder. And so you can just kind of see what that looks like. Uh, and then I went ahead and pre-chopped. We have roughly three pounds of chicken breast here. Uh, so this is a little bit bigger batch. We like making it for leftovers. Um, it should be enough for about six people otherwise, six to eight people depending on how much you eat. Uh, but you'll just wanna dice, kinda cube your chicken here. And then we're gonna take the spices that we mixed up and sprinkle that over top. Uh, you can add in a little bit of thyme as well if you like that flavor. We aren't as big of fans of that in our house. Um, but you can add like a teaspoon of that in too if you want. And if, you, like I said, if you want a little bit spicier and you don't wanna use fresh peppers, feel free to add, I mean, you can go anywhere from a quarter to a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, just know your spice palette. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. Um, you can toss it, but I'm just gonna wear gloves like I am here and mush it all in there to make sure it's nice and mixed. Um, next, we are going to throw about a tablespoon or two of olive oil into a pan and start cooking this chicken over medium. And we'll just do that for about five minutes just to kind of get it started cooking uh, before we move on to the other ingredients. So I'm going to transfer this to the pan and then I will check back with you. All right, so while your chicken is cooking, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cut up uh, two medium onions, as well as your tomatoes. So for tomatoes, you can use two 15 ounce cans or a quart, uh, roughly a quart of diced tomatoes. Uh, the fire roasted goes really well in here. We're going to use fresh, and so we're just going to rough chop our tomatoes into this. If you have time, I would highly recommend grilling your tomatoes ahead of time just because it adds that kind of fire roasted flavor. Uh, however, we're going simple today by just doing diced onions and then our roughly a quart of tomatoes, so 32 ounces. Uh, so start chopping those up and then we'll add so them in. We've got our chicken partially cooked. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add our tomatoes. Like I said, we're using fresh tomatoes, uh, but you can go ahead and use two 15 ounce cans of diced tomatoes or fire roasted tomatoes. I uh, like this, it's a great way to use up leftover cherry tomatoes from the garden, or if you have leftovers from the store, it's a great way you can just throw those in here along with your other tomatoes. Um, we're also going to throw in two whole cayenne peppers and we did not add cayenne pepper powder at the beginning. Uh, we don't want it to be quite as hot, but we still want some of that flavor. If you like really spicy things, you can see our two whole ones. We have made this before where we actually slice these up in there and it is tasty, but very spicy. Uh, so once you get your tomatoes in there, we're gonna go ahead and add our onions as well. And we're just gonna let this continue to cook uh, just until the onions are kind of translucent. So, I don't know, let's say two or three minutes here. Um, we'll stir that all up. Meanwhile, you can see the pan is getting fairly full, so you'll want either a very large pan, or what we're going to do is we're actually going to move it over to the stock pot once this is cooked down a little bit. So if we come over here, we're going to add four cups of chicken broth. Um, we're using water and bouillon, um, so we will add that in here and get the bouillon starting to heat up. And then in our two to three minutes after we mix this up, we will add it to this pot 
And then we will also add our one pound of pasta. We're using a gluten-free rotini. You can use whatever kind of pasta you choose. Uh, but yeah, we will stir this in and get the bouillon heating up and we'll show you what it looks like at the All end. Right. Once your uh, onions and tomatoes have started cooking down, you can see it's a nice juicy mix here and we still have our peppers in there. Um, we're going to transfer it to this dish over here that has our uh, chicken stock broth in there. Um, one other thing, if you want to make this creamier, you can go ahead and add uh, two to four ounces of cream cheese, depending on how creamy you want it. If you want it fairly creamy, I'd add the four ounces for this size. Or if you just want a little bit, obviously do that. Um, if you don't have cream cheese, you can also use heavy cream. We're not doing that because we're currently avoiding dairy in our household. Um, so this is just the dairy-free option. Uh, so we'll go ahead and dump this all in here. Um, and then we'll want to add our noodles after we get this all in here. And feel free to half this if it's only two people in your household. Uh, maybe you only want half the amount if you um, don't want leftovers forever. It does freeze well. Um, but I understand that some people don't want to eat this forever, so then I would recommend just cutting this recipe in half. Um, and the recipe uh, will be listed in the video description as well as head over to the blog to get a printable version. So we're going to add all the pasta as well right now and give that a quick stir. And then we'll bring it to a boil and just let it simmer until the noodles are cooked. Um, some other optional add-ins are you could add, we would do about two bell pepper, small bell peppers or one large one. Otherwise, if you have um, a little bit spicier like a chili pepper or like an Anaheim, we do one called u -tree. It's used to make paprika that we chop up in here sometimes, but that will add a little bit more spice. So if you just want more substance without the spice, add the bell peppers, otherwise you don't need them and it tastes great like this as well. We'll show you a quick shot when we're done, otherwise thank you so much for joining us and don't forget to like and subscribe.